I have the best idea for a video right now. Here's what happened. I sat down like this and I was getting ready to film a different character and then all of a sudden it just hit me. I'm like, Oh my god, this is gonna be great. And then I got up, I got my beanie, cause you know, purple, foreshadowing. <laughs> Love it! Love it! In fact, I'm so excited to film this video right now that I'm not even gonna tell you what it is. I am not even gonna let you guys know what this video is because I want you to guess. I want you to start guessing in the comments starting now. And when you do take your guesses in the comments, let me know at what timestamp in the video you are taking your guess at because you cannot take your guess at the end of the video. If you enjoy my videos, this video, any of my videos, or the mysteriousness that I'm providing you right now, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> the more I look at the reference, the funnier it gets, honestly. Step one that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be painting my body in the three colors that I need, which are purple, light blue, and a darker blue. Okay, I now have cut two different sheets of blue paper. More like it's like the cardboardy kind of paper like you get for like scrapbooking. If you know at this point in the video what this is and what I'm about to do, comment below. And I'm going to be using spirit gum to stick these on. Spirit gum is not my favorite product. I'd rather use Prozade. You might actually be able to stick these on with eyelash glue. As long as it's safe for your body and you're not using super glue or anything that's toxic, you should be okay. Okay, so I made this a little terrifying, but I ended up making this off of camera because this involved a lot of measurements and a lot of Sharpies. One Sharpie, one individual Sharpie, but it involved a lot of these complicated measurements that I thought would be too confusing to explain on camera. I measured my head from the top to the bottom, across the top, and then also from side to side, I guess, out to my nose. That way I knew how wide my head was going to be. Now, while these measurements are correct, when I actually made the paper version of this, I decided that I wanted to make the face a lot longer, so this is not useful anymore. Complicated llama is coming for your soul. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'll stop. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna cut apart llama friend here and we're gonna make a new template. Using Llama Friends uh, side of its face, I'm then going to trace this out onto more of a foam board. You can get this at a craft store, and then I'm going to cut it out using an X-Acto knife. It's not going to be a perfect shape around the head because I know I want to extend it a little bit, but this is going to give us our idea of our shape that we are going to be cutting out. And for safety of not cutting into my counter, I'm gonna add another piece of cardboard underneath that. Bonus, even though I can't really cut through the entire board of double boards, it does still give you an outline of what you're gonna be doing next. You can kinda of see it, a little bit, a little bit. Look out, ah, it's gonna be great. And to make sure we make the teeth, I'm also going to cut out this little piece on each side. And I'm just gonna label these right and left. Wait, then this should be, so I don't get confused. Now the way that I measured this, since this is going to be going in between my head, it'll be going like that. I had to measure the space across the top of my head to make sure that it would fit across the top of my head. And that is about six inches. Just to be safe that it'll slide over my ears, I wanted to measure at the widest part of my face. So in order to make the structure that is going to be across the top and holding it all together, I'm going to be measuring six inches apart from each length. So we're going from here to here and then six inches wide. Here to here, six inches wide. There to there, six inches wide. I'm also labeling each piece, that way I do not get confused.
When you're done cutting out all your pieces, you should have something that looks like this. Of course, as well as the other side that's going to be on the other side. Once you've got all this, all you have to do is put it together. Now that we have all this done, we just have to make the ears for the top. Which just like the other side of it, I already made a template. I just held it up to the side of it to see if it would fit. Now you can definitely make the ears out of paper, but I'm actually gonna be making them out of this cardboard as well because I want it to be, you know, I want it to last. I don't want it to accidentally get smashed. And your ear should look something like this. And the pieces for the ears will fit together like this, that way it goes on the side of the head. Once you have the ears constructed, they should fit on just like that. When you're done putting it together, it should look like this and your head is gonna fit right in there. Painted, I'm gonna be using these two different Craftsmark colors. There is fuchsia and also grape taffy. I'm gonna mix them together to see if we can get as close as possible to the llama. Also make sure you have two extra sheets of paper, that way you could paint these the same color as this to stick to your body. I have never worked so hard in my life to wake up in the morning and decide I'm going to be a llama. horrible at the orange justice. Don't judge me. <gasps> I didn't give him nostrils. It's ruined. This is great. This was a good idea. Look at my mouth. <laughs> I can't do it. Hey, hey.